to starting in probability. This is part of a applied Bayesian statistics course offered at Virginia Commonwealth University. Okay, so we're going to really start formalizing what we mean by probability. We saw empirical probability just to kind of give you the notion of what's going on. Uh, but now we really want to start formalizing things so we can really talk about probability. So recall that probability is the language of uncertainty. So it quantifies that uncertainty. When I say quantifies it, it means that it assigns it a number. Okay, And these numbers, these probabilities, are always between 0 and 1. Probabilities near 0 imply a very unlikely event, and probabilities near 1 implies a very likely event. Uh, we can calculate this in the absence of experimental data under certain assumptions, and we need to become associated with these concepts so that we can work our way through this course and actually make use of everything that uh, there is to make use of from Bayesian statistics. Okay, so the first idea is the idea of a sample space. Sample space is the set of all possible outcomes of an experiment. Okay, so it's everything that could happen from your experiment. And I don't say everything that can happen. It's everything that you're looking for to happen out of it. Okay, so here Manuel is a football player who is looking to take a shot at a goal. He will either score and gain a point, or he will miss and not gain a point. So our sample space is he'll have a goal or he'll miss. So, Or we could write it as S here is success or failure. Now, when we think about this, notice it's all the outcomes that we are interested in seeing, right? We don't need to know every outcome in detail of what might happen. We just need to know whether or not a point was gained or not, right? If it wasn't gained, then it was a miss. All right, so uh, the other thing we're going to have is these bars around our S, which is the size of the set. So uh, here where the bars mean the size of the set and the sample space has exactly two outcomes. An event E is a collection of outcomes from S. I know it's very abstract at this point, but you'll see as we go along that this makes absolute sense and it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Okay, so uh, Nora is playing soccer and or football, and she is going to take three shots at the goal. So let E be the event she scores exactly two goals. Well, in order to understand this event, we're going to need to know what the sample space is. So here's our sample space. S equals, and well, she's going to take three shots. So she could miss, miss, miss. She could miss, miss, then score. Or she could miss, score, miss. Or she could score, miss, miss. Or she could miss, score, score. Or she could score, miss, score. Or she could score, score, miss. Or score, score, score. Right? This is what can happen. This is everything that can happen that we're interested in from this event of taking three shots at the goal. Now, we're interested in what's exactly two goals, right? So these are the only outcomes in here that have two scores exactly two scores right this one has two scores but there's also a third one so here e would be this mss sms ssm okay now here notice that our sample space had eight outcomes and our event has three outcomes okay the complement of event is denoted e with a complement or a c above it like in the exponent is all the outcomes in S that are not in E. So back to our example from before. So if I'm interested in E complement, well, it's all the other outcomes that aren't the outcomes in E, right? So I would go back here and enumerate all of those and put them in here, and that's exactly what I did. And if you can see that this corresponds exactly to that. Now, also notice that the sample space has eight uh, outcomes in it. E has three outcomes, E complement has five outcomes, and also notice that the sample space is equal to the event plus the event complement. The sizes of those, three plus five equals eight. All right, so what have we learned so far? Well, we've learned sort of what 
an outcome is, what a sample space is, what an event is, and what a complement is. And this is the language that we're building so that we can talk about probability and uncertainty in a way that's useful for Bayesian statistics. All right, so we're going to move on to the next video. See you there.